All right, Keith, we've had a lot of talk about Milton uh, over the last couple of days, So, the, but the weather here in Maine has been actually quite pleasant. Which has kind of allowed us to talk about it, right? If we had Correct. a lot going on, we probably wouldn't be able right. to speak as much about it. We will do a little recap of that, but yeah, our weather here has been okay. We've got a couple of showers out there right now, but it's overall been some periods of sun during the day. It, uh, of course, crushes my soul a little bit that we're like 20 minutes from sunset here, but we've got a few showers out there across northern Maine and the mountains, but notice there have been fewer of them along the coastline. I think that's a trend we'll see again tomorrow where the best chance of showers will be the mountains and northern Maine. It'll be a lower chance along the coastline. A lot of sun through the middle of the day clouded up in the afternoon, and there was always a lot of cloud cover across New Hampshire and uh, again the mountains and the northern part of the state. So tonight, because we have a couple of showers still kicking around and some clouds that should keep us a little bit warmer through the first half of the night at least. But eventually we radiate out after midnight tonight and get down to about 40 in a lot of spots, but it should be warmer than last evening either way. And most of that temperature drop is the second half of the night. A good deal of sunshine along the coastline and inland tomorrow through the middle of the day. And then we pop up some showers, but notice most of those do stay in the mountains tomorrow. So I actually didn't put the shower chance in the forecast for the coastline because I think we're going to by and large, we're going to stay away from those showers. Then Friday looks good with a lot of sunshine. Best day of the work week with temperatures in the upper 50s to around 60 and a lot of sunshine. We roll into the weekend and the weekend looks all right. It's not a knockout weekend, but we'll have some periods of sun with just an isolated mountain shower on Saturday. That's as a cold front tries to drape its way through. We get most of the day in on Sunday and then some showers come in Sunday around sunset into early, early Monday, and then that system moves out Monday afternoon. So we get a couple of shower chances in the weekend, but I think overall the weekend is pretty good. Here's Hurricane Milton winds 120 miles an hour gust to 150. And it has started to make a little bit more of that east wobble that we anticipated, which is good news because for a while it was really tracking right towards Tampa Bay there. So it's down towards Sarasota and that's where the eye wall is. And this eye wall has widened out a bit. And I think technical um, landfall is not super far away at this point. So it's a little bit faster than originally modeled. The north side of this eye wall is unquestionably the strongest part of this storm. It seems a lot weaker on the southeast edge of it. That's not super atypical. We're still looking at storm surge possibilities of 12 to 15 feet. The reality is we don't really know the exact, st exact storm surge numbers until usually a few hours after landfall comes through and then you see where all the water has piled up. So for us, you see a couple shower chances in there, but I want to tell you it's not really much. Um, most of the shower activity is going to be overnight Sunday and then very early Monday and we clear out Monday afternoon. I know a lot of us have a longer weekend. Getting a bit cool next week though, Coco. I mean, yeah. high of 50 along Lows. the coast, lows in the mid 30s. You know, it's, it's not crazy, but it's a little bit cool for this time of year. You'll feel it. It's time, time to start putting on more than just a vest. Yeah, yeah, it's starting to, yeah, you're covering up your arms and thinking about heat unless you're a dad and then you'll just never admit it, you know? Yeah. All right, thanks, Keith. <laughs>